Hi, uh, in this short tutorial I will teach you how to restore a Dell Inspiron N7110 back to its original factory settings. It's, uh, it's the one uh, with a core i7. So when you power on the laptop and it's booting up, you hold down F8. You press down F8 button. Okay, when you press on the F8 button, you will get to this screen. And on this screen, you see you have the option. The first option you see is says uh, repair your computer. And you will click on that. You will choose that option of repair your computer. And when you click on that, Windows will load some files. By the way, this computer is running Windows 7. on Windows 7 so <clears throat> you will uh, you will wait while Windows uh, load the files that you need so when you get to this screen uh, you choose your keyboard input method so I'll just I'll leave it at uh, US because I'm in the United States so I'll click on next and now it will ask for my username and my password. So here you put your username and password. So once you put in your username and password, you get to the screen that says uh, you have so many options. There's a startup repair, system restore actually we'll go into this last one here that says Dell data safe restore an emergency backup so restore your computer including the factory state so this is what we need to do in this case because uh, I'm trying to restore it back to the factory settings so I choose that I click on that I choose that option so I get to another screen that says click next to restore your computer to the most recent full system backup so uh, I'll ch the, the first option here says restore computer and preserve my new or changed files is recommended but I yes I mean if you want to do that you can choose that so it will restore your it will preserve your your files or we could choose the other option select other system backup or more options so let's click on that other option and see what it says okay. so <clears throat> so the, the, the other one says click next uh, it says restore my computer click next to restore your computer to the most recent full system backup files added or changed since that backup will be preserved and then copied back to your computer after the restoration is complete so that's the way to restore your computer it depends on what you want to do all right thank you for viewing this short tutorial thank you